trip so far. We are uh, here in Maui, and things have not gone great day one. We um, rental car issues, and where we've got to the campground now, it's been raining. It's real foggy this afternoon, and we actually paid the rental car guy um, a little bit of money to borrow his camping gear, and so we're set up. Here's the setup. We unpacked it and, and found out that he's missing one of the stakes. We had to rig this stick through here and turns out the uh, the thing leaks pretty good. So not real sure what the water there. Water over there. Coming to the center, I mean. Certainly not what we were hoping for, but obstacles. We're gonna get it figured out for us over with, though. We're not going home empty-handed. That right, Griffin? Not happening. Not a chance. Well, after two days of struggling, we're finally, finally heading up the mountain. So, stick with us. First official day of hunting. We finally made it to an opening. We have been crawling through thick stuff coming down through here you might can see let's see griffin's right there trying to come up to the rest of it now but there's sign everywhere in here oh, getting pumped up we're about to let's see about to head up through this little grassy spot and head up this mountain hopefully we're getting into something soon because it's been a uh, dirty do a lot of crawling coming up that hill so hopefully we're gonna get into something soon we've got all day it's only seven o'clock so plenty of time we just made it to the top of this ridge right here looked over the ridge down there's a meadow down there and we saw a group our first group of sheep or goats we'll see if we can't make something happen pick out the big ones well, we got on a pile of goats, um, I'd say 35 of them or so, but um, a couple of really nice ones, really nice ones, but we ended up having a truck come up on us as we've been sitting there for about an hour and a half, Griffin's in the gun, and we're just waiting to get the right shot on the right one, and they all just spooked out of nowhere, and we saw the truck, and anyways, they, they ran over the hill, and we've made a big loop, and currently we just came off that mountaintop there, but um, we found them, we're, we're moving back towards them, but the problem is, this fog's rolling in bad and visibility's getting lower. Hopefully we're gonna get over here and still be able to see them. Um, the, other, the other dilemma is that they're moving close to the border of the property. And so hopefully we're gonna get down here they're still gonna be on the property that we can shoot. So fingers crossed we come home with something today. Well, we've been sitting up here in the rain for about the last two hours fighting this fog. Uh, that group that we lost earlier when that truck pulled in we finally found them again well in the middle of that last little piece i was talking griffin goes kyle kyle we turn i turned around and there's a billy 100 yards from us you can see it's still raining he stared us down for a minute and then uh I, he started to walk up the hill i managed to get the gun get it handed to griffin Well, during the middle of that interview, Griffin spotted another one of the billies that was running, and um, we made it, managed to get over here, and um, Griffin got his second one, so Griffin's tagged out for a day. Out here, you get two goats per day per person, so he's got two billies down. And, uh, I'll show you this one. This is the second one, and then we'll go back and show you the first one in a second. I got him right behind the shoulder. There he is. Maui Spanish goat. Yeah, we went from leaving to Griffin having two down in having two on the ground. Two down in less than fifteen minutes. Yeah. Now we're gonna get these guys skinned up and I think we're gonna head towards home. We've got a not home but back to back to town. We've got a long wet semi-dangerous hike off the mountain 
it was not an easy hike up here this morning, but it was it was worth it, wasn't it, Griffin? It turned out to be worth it. I yeah, it was worth I it, dude. It worth it. We're gonna get up here and show you the first one. This is the second one still. Uh, so we'll see you up there in just a second. All right, well here's the uh, here's the first one Griffin got. So we measured the second one. He was uh, 14 and a quarter on his. Uh, Tip to tip. tip to tip right here. We hadn't measured this one yet, but this one definitely it's is got longer. A lot, more mass. a lot more mass and a lot longer horn overall. So um, smoked him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You still see the fog. So when this fog's not here right now, you would be able to see the Pacific Ocean and then also one of the other islands right there. Um, we're gonna get some pictures. We're gonna get him cut up and we're gonna make the hike down. Soaking wet. Soaking wet, <laughs> but happy. Very happy. Very happy. We just talked, we were so, we were getting there mentally. There's been a lot of uh, things against us on this trip so far, but being on top of this hill, even in the rain right now, getting our hands on these is, is pretty awesome. It's worth it. It's very worth it. <laughs> well guys, we're in here early this morning. It's day two of our sheep hunt and uh we're heading up the mountain in the dark we got a pretty good game plan this morning i believe and hopefully we're going to get in here and get some good ones on the ground we'll see you at the top pretty cool there's a uh old axis rub right there out of breath just came straight through this You can see we got the fog rolling back in on us now. We've got a group spotted way over here in the meadow. I tripped. We're gonna try to get down there to them real quick. All that fog's coming from that way. Gotta wait it out so we can try to see this bottom again. It's got goats down here, goats down here. We know there's two billies over here. One possible shooter. Been a lot of back and forth today. I had the safety off twice, but pulled the trigger once, but there wasn't a bullet in there. I keep it unloaded when I walk around with it on my pack. But I'm praying the fog's gonna clear out so we can still see. lifted a little bit in this bottom just enough to see a couple of them there were two little light good ones in the bottom i took a shot rested on this rock right here and he ran about 20 yards and he's down right there and uh, the rest of them there was a bunch that ran out the hill out the bottom so we're gonna switch spots and sit for a second and see if this fog lifts and maybe that other big one could come out and we can double up here's where i shot i shot rested off this bag straight down into this bottom right down there I didn't really get a range on it. I just dialed it up to um, one MOA. If I had to guess, he's around 200 yards. Well, I'm pretty excited and pretty nervous to be walking up here on him. We just came down the hill. We're in the meadow now. And uh, the fog moved out for a second. And we could have looked at him in the binoculars. You could see him laying down here and I couldn't see no horns. It was real foggy when I shot, but I know that it was a ram, a billy. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he's nice. We're getting close. Let's get this guy out. Oh, it is, it is a busted horn. Right? Is it? Yeah, he's busted. Well, he's busted up. Didn't know that when I shot him. I just saw all that mass. He would have been a really nice billy. I mean, Definitely would have been over 20 inches, which is what our goal was. Beautiful cape on him. Um, yeah, if he had been over that 20 mark, I probably would have mounted him. I'm gonna take his head. Oh man, I hit that rock right there. Whew. I'm gonna take his head with me though. Man. 
shot him from up there off that peak. Beautiful billy though. Well, not the best situation. Griffin shot an absolute giant. I watched him drop. But he fell in this really thick stuff. He was all in this brush and we cannot find him at all. And we know he's here. We've been walking down here for about an hour now, transecting and stuff. And we just have not turned him up. It's so foggy, it's hard to see where we shot from. But we know he's right in here. We just have not turned him up. Happy day. We're about an hour and a half into searching for this goat now. And Griffin just told me he found him over here. So we're gonna head over here and check this bruiser out. So he doesn't they go out wide like what a lot of the Spanish goats do. Some people call these goats Spanish Ibex and or the Hawaiian Ibex. And this guy looks like that. His horns just go straight up. But he looked he looked incredible. So we're gonna go here and check him out. Let's check him out. Well, that was a, a long time coming, wasn't it? Yeah, that was an eventful one. Get down there and pick him up one time. Oh no, dude. Oh, you hit him right in the head. Or was that just, you hit him in the head? Yep. I did. Dude, that's a really nice one, though. That's a solid goat. Look at how tall he is. That's awesome. <laughs> We've been hunting for right at an hour and a half, probably. Yeah, that's what I just told him on this video was that I thought we'd been out here. We've been looking for an hour and a half now for him. Yeah. But you see what he fell in. Yeah, he fell and in we nothing but brush. And we came right off that hill there. You can barely see. That is an awesome goat, man. <laughs> that's a classy goat. Yeah, he is. Now I got to get me. I got to get me a big one that's uh that's not busted. Well, here's a better look at that goat after we pulled him out. Super tall, good width. Griffin, what you think? It's a big goat. It's a really good looking goat. Do you think you'd get one that nice on this trip? No, I didn't. I didn't think either one of us would, but there's definitely more. Hopefully I can get me a trophy before we leave as well. So, that's awesome, man. There's plenty of goats out here. Yeah, there are. Well, we're on the hike out and Came up on another group down in the meadow. I got set up for a shot and put a billy down. So I'm tagged out for the day. I'm walking up on him now. Pretty one. Well, I believe this is gonna be our last morning hunt. We're hiking back in here to where we've been on these uh, these goats the last couple of days, and we're gonna see if we can't get on one of these other big ones and see if I can get a a trophy one on the ground. So we're gonna see you in there. Heading back up the mountain. Had a uh, two big billies at about 370 yards this morning. One of them dropped over the, the next ridge, and the one that was left, I took a shot on. And wasn't sure if I hit him or not. We walked down there, and you can smell. We could smell him. I think I hit him. We gave it a look for an hour. I hadn't found anything. We're gonna hike back up here and look from this hilltop. Well, chalked that one up this morning as a miss and we spent a while on the same mountainside glassing and really honestly, we had done decided that we were gonna back it out for the day and come back tomorrow. And I happened to look up and about 600 yards from me glassed up a couple and 
we made a, a speedy stalk in here and uh, popped up and there were several billies probably they were all between 150 and 215 yards kind of spread out there were three good ones on the left side and so uh, I got on them and and uh, put the smack down on them here's, the, here's one right here I hadn't pulled him out all the way yet but he's bigger than my one from the other day hit him a little back but he didn't go far all right guys well got this billy just a just the one i was just talking about and um it's pretty nice we hadn't got the tape on him my pack's way up there on the ridge but if i had to guess he's probably 18 and a half 19 something like that um but definitely i think this is going to be the the skull i take home as my keeper I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to the channel.